So Airbnb seems to be ripping a little bit today and I've got this kind of this three point fib extension drawn on this chart. Now with this one, I'm going to show you how to draw a three point fib extension. That's really hard for me to say. I always do this. I always uh, miss say the three point fib extension. Now it's really quite simple. You basically, I'll get rid of that <clears throat> for now. This one's really simple to look. So you, you're finding a really deep low, especially kind of coupled with the RSI. So you've got it down here kind of towards the end of December 2022. So quite some time ago, um, you could also do kind of this one here if you wanted to a bit more recent um but i like to kind of go for the dramatic ones and obviously the high of the stock is the one that's kind of keep, keep keeps getting contact here um so let's go ahead and draw one of those now so you draw from the bottom of that particular low that you want to choose for me it's that one there and you draw up to this kind of resistance point sometimes it's a big peak and it's just one peak and that's fair enough you kind of stop there and drag it down um click again up here and then you basically release this but you're not clicking anymore you're just kind of holding this in place and then you drag it down to the most recent low that's been set which for me is this one here just because it's on the kind of price action off of the low here you can see it with the green the green line there so basically I'm going to set that there and there you go that's a three point fib extension it's basically there to predict um, or you know, trying to help you guide where the stock might be going in the near future so you could actually do that even if it, the price action was around here in November, you could still draw that and then you could play yourself with the line. So imagine none of this was here um, and you, you're obviously trading what you saw on the chart just here. Obviously, you've got all the kind of moving averages confining together. And obviously, you probably would pay to take trade there just because of everything that's kind of coming aligned for you. And then obviously, it rocketed up to kind of 151, which is also good news. Uh, with that, obviously, it did hit that as resistance, which is ironically this green line that's been drawn via the FIB extension. And it's hit that and it's reversed down to the red line, which has been produced by the FIB extension. So these FIB extensions do work. Um, they're not everything, but they do work. And it's, it's nice to play with them, um, etc. So go ahead and play with the free, free point FIB and let me know how you get on. Um, they're quite tricky to get used to, but once you get used to them, that they are okay. And I think one of the stocks that I'm you know, showing you today, I think there is another one in there as well which we'll talk to. So yeah, it's moved up and basically we're looking at this 157 level as a bit of resistance. But if we can get back above that, uh, sorry, get above that and back down, retest it and then move up to 167 or 169, sorry, got my numbers mixed up. That represents about 7%, which doesn't sound like a lot. And it's probably not a lot. But if you're day trading that, then no, that's up to you. So that's my point with the three point fit extension. And that's the Airbnb kind of opportunity around that. So breaking above 156. Well, obviously, likewise, if you came back down to this kind of 150, you're looking at the moving averages here as well. So that's not too bad. So that'll probably be a bit more cemented. You've got this resistance line here as well. So basically, that would be a better entry point. 151 up to kind of 157. And then again, holding until 169 if the market continues moving in this direction. So that's it for Airbnb.